Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Nova Coast, and today we're gonna talk about Lonzo Ball. And on the short clip I saw on YouTube, I got it on my phone right now, we're about to watch it in a minute. But he basically said that he believes playing basketball more than two games a day as a kid is too much. And we're just gonna listen to what he got to say real quick, and I'm gonna tell y'all what I think about it. Here we go, we're gonna get right into the video, man. Here we go. Do you guys ever think that you played too much basketball growing up? Like, yeah, did you just hear what I said? <laughs> Four and five games in one day, that's too much. That's a lot. I know, but like, just in general. As a like, kid, you shouldn't play more than two games a day. I never thought that, though. I be talking crazy, like, I'll play again. I'm gonna play seven games, love. If you could go back, you're okay with playing just two games. You wouldn't play. Yeah, you shouldn't play more than two games in a day. I don't think. Do you guys ever think that you and now, played now, y'all just saw the video, right? And I saw that, and it really took me by surprise because... I played basketball myself growing up, right? And I watched the NBA and stuff. And I, I see Lonzo Ball. I see him make the NBA. His brother, LaMelo, made the NBA. And I see his other brother, Jello, almost made the NBA. He was on the NBA team at one point. So I just think, like, how do you say you, that's playing too much basketball and you made the NBA? Like, if you're in his dad, I feel like now that he made it to the NBA and he got, like, his own, his own money, so to speak, and he made it, he's his own man now he's growing up. I think he's making a mistake by by going against everything that his father taught him when he was younger. You know what I'm saying? Without LeVar Ball, without his dad, he would never be in the NBA. And if his dad had him playing like like more than two games a day, that's the reason why he's in the NBA. Because he was playing. You have to play that. You have to be above average, above normal. I guarantee if Lonzo Ball and his brothers were only playing two games a day, they would not be in the NBA. And that's why I just don't know why people will sit up here like and uh, watch videos like this and just say, yeah, I, I, I didn't read the comments, but I'm just, I don't even know why he's saying that or how his homeboys ain't correcting him. Like his brother's there, his brother low key tried to correct him. Like I never thought about it, right? Because y'all pops taught y'all the right way. You know what I'm saying? And y'all actually listened to him. That's why y'all made it. You know what I'm saying? He had y'all playing all these games, AAU, four or five games a day because he knew you had to go above and beyond to make it to the NBA. That's why he listened to you. I mean, that's why that's why you you listened to him when you were a kid and you did it. Why? How are you regretting that now? When you're a millionaire and you're in the NBA, and you play. You got drafted number two by the Lakers. Yeah, you got injuries and stuff, but hey, everyone got injuries. That's life. You know, you gotta find ways to recover, stretch, heal. You know what I'm saying? You got the money to get a personal trainer to help you heal from your injuries. You know what I'm saying? You 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 got nice from playing that much games a day. It's just that simple, man. I, I want to know what y'all think about it in the comments, man. Uh, I'm not gonna get into it too much but i could talk about it a lot because uh, i'm passionate about the sport of basketball i had a similar situation growing up but the only difference is i i feel like i didn't listen to my dad as much as i needed to i was too immature to listen to him and when i seen lavar ball come on the scene with his sons and I, I know what it's like you know what i'm saying to have a dad that's at the games you know that's pushing you to the limit yelling you yelling at you i couldn't handle that when i was a kid i, I was too sensitive when it comes to criticism like about me playing basketball and I thought I knew it all. I thought I knew more than my dad. You know what I'm saying? Which I was wrong about. You know, and if he's ever watching this video one day, you know, he'll he'll be happy to hear that. But he was right about everything. I should have listened to him. And I would have been in the NBA right now. You know, and that's just the truth. So when I see somebody like Lonzo Ball, and he, it looks like they listened to their dad for the most part. That's why they made the NBA. You know what I'm saying? And now that he made it, he's saying, oh, we played too much basketball growing up as kids. I just, I just don't agree with that. You know what I'm saying? Uh... Yeah. No, you didn't. Because you, you had to play that much to make it to the NBA. <laughs> it's just that simple. You had, like, these dudes, the dudes who make it to the NBA, they eat, sleep, and breathe basketball 24-7. Kobe Bryant, perfect example, man. This dude played basketball sun up to sun down. Like, 4 a.m., he was up in the gym working out 5 to 7. Breakfast, working out 11 to 1. Lunch, come back 3 to 4. Go home, eat dinner, go back 9 to 10. This dude was in the gym around the clock, whether he was hooping 5 on 5 whether he was training by himself. So yeah, the more games you play, the better you're gonna get, especially under a referee and with a whistle. The more five on five organized basketball games you play, cause see, you could do all the training, you could do all the working out in the world, but if, you don't, if you're not playing organized basketball, I'm talking about with referees, with rules, with uh, people in the stands, with a shot clock, with jerseys on, with teams, with coaches. If you're not playing real basketball, organized basketball, you're not going to get better to a point where you can make it to the NBA. You have to play organized basketball under the whistle. Though That's the separating factor. And the fact that, I man, this dude... 
I played two AAU games a day and I didn't make the NBA because you know why? That wasn't enough. I should have been playing four or five games a day. It was times where I could have played more and I just I thought I did enough. These dudes said, the Ball brothers said they played like four or five games a day and they were all, I'm sure they were all under the whistle. They're AAU regulation, competition. That's why they got good as they got to make it to the NBA because they that made them that made them not nervous for one. You can't, a lot of players are good playing street ball or they're good when the lights are off. They're good behind closed doors, but when they get in an organized game, it's like they never played basketball in their life. They freeze up. They don't know how to run a play. They don't know how to uh, be part of a team. They don't know how to handle the referee talking to them, calling. They don't know how to handle people watching them in the stands. It's called sports psychology, sports anxiety. Athletes experience anxiety when they play under the whistle. They could play good in pickup games, rec leagues, church leagues, whatever, just playing with their friends around the neighborhood. When they get in an organized game with scouts watching, random people in the watching, their girlfriends there, their mother, their dad, their brother, their friends are there, the, the, the homeboys are over there, you know, clicked up, watching them play, and this is a packed gym. That's when the real hoopers come out. You know what I'm saying? That's when the real ballers come out who can play underneath the bright lights, man. It's your boy Nova Coast, man. Let me know what y'all think about this video. Go ahead and drop a comment down in the comment section below, man. Uh, and this is my take on it, man. Uh, I think he's wrong for saying that. I like Lonzo Ball. I like all the ball brothers, you know, so salute to them, respect. Respect to what they're doing, you know. I'm, I'm, that's amazing that they all made it to a high level of success with the game of basketball. And it's thanks to their father. It's thanks to their dad. You know what I'm saying? Without LeVar Ball making y'all play those five games, y'all would not be in the NBA. And that's just the truth, man. Um, and also, another thing, too. I wanted to talk about this, too. Now that we're talking about the Ball Brothers, man. And maybe I'll do a separate video. But I'm going to just jump it in here since we're rolling. Um, man. I'm mad that they left their dad's brand that he made for them. You know, Triple B's, like, I don't know why LaMelo went to Puma, why Lonzo's wearing Kobe's when he got his own shoe. He had the ZO2s. He had his own signature shoe. They're gonna regret that. Like, their dad knew what he, he was talking about. They're young. They're younger than me. I'm 34. Them dudes are in their 20s. When I was in my 20s, I was very immature, and I thought I knew more than my dad. I thought I knew more than coaches. I thought I knew more than people who was trying to tell me the right things to do in life. I was so immature, and that's one of my biggest regrets. Why was I so immature when I was young? These dudes may be successful. They may be millionaires, but they're in their 20s. They don't know. They don't understand life as much as their dad does. Their dad got on their own signature shoe with their name on it. Now he's wearing another shoes with another man's name on it. That's what I, that's what average people do. That's what people do who ain't got a shoe deal. They wear Kobe's, Jordan's, uh, whoever, you know what I'm saying? They wear other basketball, LeBron's. They wear basketball player shoes. But you had your own shoes, bro. LaMelo had his own shoes in high school. Yeah, he got his own signature shoe now with Puma. But guess what? Puma is getting money off you when you could have been making your own money. You were the type of player, LaMelo, where you could have sold your own shoes, your dad, hooked you up with your own signature shoes in high school. You one of the most popular high school athletes there was in the game at that time. You had fans. You got hella fans still, bro. They would have bought your own shoes if they were if they were $400, $500. Your diehard fans would have bought them. And you could have lowered the price a little bit once you made it to the NBA because you already had money. You should have stuck with your dad's brand, big baller brand. Y'all had your own brand. And why would y'all go away from that, bro? Like, Jordan don't even have his own brand. He's with Nike. He's, he's stuck to Nike. Michael Jordan, the greatest, but LeBron too. These dudes are so great, but they're, they're, they're giving all their money to Nike. You know what I'm saying? They're giving their money to Nike. They got their name on it. Yeah, it's signature, LeBron. But guess what? That swoosh is on it. When you had Big Baller brand, it was just LaMelo. And that's your last name, Ball. The money was yours. Same with Lonzo. All y'all dudes, is y'all was tripping respectfully. Y'all was tripping, bro. Hopefully y'all, it's not too late, man, but you, you signed a Puma now and... Them Pumas ain't even, they ain't the top ball at balling shoes in my opinion. But hey, you know, you're doing your thing. Respect the Puma. But I'm telling you, man, you had it, dog. You could have stuck with your dad's brand, bro. Big baller brand. Y'all have been, y'all would have been straight. Yeah, you, I, and then I see videos you trying to say, oh, them shoes were falling apart. I Sometimes I want to say, how dare you, man? How dare you disrespect your pops like that, bro? He, you know, and I understand you're young. You're younger than me. So, immaturity plays a part you know what i'm saying and i, I probably would have did the same thing when i was that age you know what i'm saying now i'm just speaking to her from a wiser perspective you know i'm 34 now and shit i regret not listening to my dad with the, with the stuff he told me from small to big to in the middle everything man I, I didn't listen to him about a lot i learned a lot and I, now i apply it to my life now because it's never too late to take what you learned 
when you were too immature and hard-headed to do it and now start doing the right thing now. But you are going to miss out on a lot of opportunities the longer you wait to find that out and you're going to have regrets. So yeah, I'm not afraid to admit it. I got regrets, you know what I'm saying, from not listening to my dad. So that's why this video hits home with me, man. When I see these dudes, like, now that they made it and they kind of going away from their dad. And their dad was the reason why they made it. This dude was carrying them even through the media, through all that, man. His personality, he was the star, man. Le Le LeVar Ball was the star. And, it, you know, and it makes sense. And he made three stars in his son and um, in his sons, you feel me? And uh, that's just the way it went, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's your boy Nova Coast, man. I'm signing off. I'm at 10 minutes now in the video, man. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on YouTube. You already know what time it is, man. Nova Coast, Nova Coast music. Peace and love to the whole world, man. Make sure you like, subscribe. I'm trying to get to 1K. I'm out. Nova Game. Peace.